Um, a little back injury. I got knee in the back. Um, probably one of the painful injuries I've had since I've been here. Worse than when I broke my foot. Uh, went in to give me a little shot. And the pain slowly went away, but it's still there. You know, it took me a while to get going. You know, I had to suck it up for the team, so because I do it for them. But you know, it was a tough game. You know, you knew it was gonna be one of those. Did you have to convince the coaches to let you go back in? No, I had to convince myself to get back out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I told the coach, um, he told me if I'm ready, go in. You know, and I felt like I was you know, ready to go back in, even though the pain was, you know, unbearable. But you know. I just went in. I did it for the team. You know, the team needs me. You know, to give them that spark every once in a while. So it was more of them approaching you to get you to go back in the game as opposed to you wanting to. Oh no, I knew okay. I was going back in. You know, was, no injury was going to keep me out there. Mm-hmm. Just go down there Wednesday and get ready to beat UAB. Okay. Dominic, you still, uh, you guys still need to win a game to be bowl eligible to have that to look forward to at the end of the year. Uh, within the team in the locker room, obviously two games have gotten away from you. Is there a sense of pressure with with the players to, to deliver that to get that sixth win and, and give yourselves a, that bowl game to play for? Uh, we just got to stick together through the, through the good and bad. Uh, today was just a bad day. Uh, we're gonna stick together. We're gonna get. We're going to try to win these last few games and, uh, of course, be bowl eligible and just uh, finish the season all right. Is it bittersweet to have as, as big of a game as you just had today, five touchdowns, 400-some uh, yards, uh, no interceptions, uh, and have it be in a loss uh, at home to Navy? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, very, it's a hard pill to swallow. You, you have great stats like that, but on the other side, you have a loss. And it's, it's, it's just a bad feeling right now. Look like they never really stopped you guys. I mean, you pretty much feel like you stopped yourselves. I mean, I've never seen like three or four turnovers in that quick a span. Right, yeah, like I said, we, we really screwed our defense on the four fumbles. All of them, we lost all four fumbles. And things just didn't go our way. Uh, it was a tip pass, and I caught it. And as soon as I caught it, I fumbled. Stuff like that really doesn't happen all the time. So just stuff wasn't going our way. Was this an embarrassing loss for you guys? Of course. Any loss is embarrassing. So uh, we're going to bounce back and uh, finish the season up right. We'll take off stance because as soon as you do, they're just going to cut you. Um, but it, it, it is frustrating, but you can't let it get the best of you. It's the kind of thing where you kind of have to uh, – Go out there and get up next play. I mean, it's your responsibility to football. My responsibility all day was to tackle the fullback. And um, you know, you go out there and everybody just does their job. Like we had some, we you know, we had some mess ups, but we get it fixed. They did have some success with that fullback dive today. How much of it was just not being able to fight off blocks versus just schematically out of position? Things it, like it that. It was it was more schematics than anything than actually being able to fight off blocks. Um, but you know, if, if if the center climbs the linebacker, you know, and then he's pretty much sealed off, and he's, he's useless. Um, so that's when it really comes in for, for you know the, the do tackles to kind of you know, get pushed and, and get working. There. I know you gave up a lot of points today, but uh, does this make the defense any better? Uh, experiencing this kind of situation, assignment football, and, and you know. I, I would certainly hope so. Honestly, I would certainly hope that this you know this goes and kind of resonates in guys and. and get that fighting spirit back out in guys when we come in so we can work that much harder. You guys have been a defensive-minded team in the past. How much does this hurt your pride? It hurts my pride. I've, I've never been this embarrassed, um, not necessarily for myself, but just for other guys because I know how much it meant to a bunch of guys. And, um, you know, but the good thing about pride is, you, you know, if it's high, you just got to take it as a loss and, and move on. And, you know, we got UAB this week on Thursday, so it's a quick turnaround. Is that good or bad? I think it's I think it's good. It gives us a chance to you know kind of get it out of our heads and kind of move on and kind of go forward and and, and you know get another W this week in conference. With the NC- obviously with bowl eligibility and you guys kind of have to wait now another few days to uh, to try to do that and to try to regain your footing in the conference. Uh, is there a feeling of pressure, especially among the older guys uh, like you on the team, uh, to go ahead and solidify that that bowl game if nothing else at the at the end of the season? Yeah, I wouldn't say. It. I wouldn't say there's much pressure, but you know we got three conference games left, and you know we got to go out and approach them like we do every other game, and hopefully uh, win those three games and get a bowl. What was it, maybe the toughest thing about uh, defending Navy today, and what do you think was probably the, the best thing that, that they were able to do against you guys? Uh, they're a good football team, you know, all around. They they whooped their butt, and you know, all all hats off to them.
What do you learn from playing a team like this defensively? Keep your head up. Throw it out the door and get ready for next week. That's all you can do or Thursday. Is it tough to turn it around on a short week like this, even just from an X and O standpoint, to throw this one out and have to have a game on Thursday night? Yeah, well, I mean, physically, you know, on your bodies, you know, take care of those big boys, make sure they're all right, you know, ice double, and, you know, tomorrow we focus on UAB.